Understanding the phrase, to have teeth, an English language guide. Hello, everyone. In today's video, we're going to dive into a fascinating English phrase, to have teeth. This expression is a great example of how the English language uses imagery to convey specific meanings. Let's explore what this phrase means, its origins, and how to use it correctly in conversation. The phrase, to have teeth, is used metaphorically to describe a law, rule, policy, or agreement that is strong and effective. It implies that the subject has the power or authority to enforce its terms, much like how teeth enable an animal to bite effectively. When we say a rule, has teeth, we mean it can be applied forcefully and isn't just a mere suggestion. Understanding the origins of phrases can often help us remember their meanings. The term, to have teeth, likely originates from the physical power and importance of teeth in animals, including humans. Teeth are essential for eating and survival, symbolizing strength and effectiveness. This imagery has been translated into a metaphorical expression in language to convey the power of non-physical entities like laws or rules. Let's look at some examples to understand how to use this phrase. 1. The new environmental regulations have teeth, so companies will have to follow them strictly. 2. Without enforcement, these policies don't have teeth and are unlikely to bring about any real change. 3. The contract has teeth, meaning there are serious consequences for breaking it. These examples show how, to have teeth, can be applied in different contexts, emphasizing the effectiveness and enforceability of something. When using, to have teeth, remember it's a metaphorical expression and should be used in contexts where strength or effectiveness is being emphasized. Avoid using it in a literal sense or in situations where the focus is on physical attributes. Thank you for joining me in exploring the phrase, to have teeth. It's a vivid and useful expression in the English language, symbolizing strength and effectiveness. I hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase confidently in your conversations. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.